about the uh, speaker set up. This is, this is July 5th, 2014, from Kelly Corner, the Fullerton Transportation Center. Yeah. Testing, 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 testing. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's getting better. There we go. Okay. Well, I guess that works. Can we have your attention over here, please? Even Mary B. Hi, Mary B. There we go, Curtis. Curtis's. 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 Yeah, there's three. Curtis's. Not a stuttering problem, there's just three of them. Yeah, I'll be here all night, right? Well, it's really hard to believe it's been three years tonight. Just unbelievable, actually. Things went so fast, it seems. Uh, we were protesting, near rioting, making demand calls, calls, successfully, by the way. And I'm so proud to have been a small part of that, um, honestly. Together, we've, we've made uh, some fantastic strides as far as changing policies, procedures, really making things happen for the positive. Then we got into the criminal trial. Regardless of the results, I'm just so happy that we were able to get charges filed. First time in Orange County's history. That's a milestone, people. That's, that's extremely positive. We pretty much controlled, and I'll say it that way, because Kelly's Army is awesome. Amen. We pretty much controlled every aspect. And after every interview I did, I said, you know what? Today was a good day. We're still moving forward. Right. I always said, so far, we haven't had a single setback. And that's a true statement up till the very moment that the verdict came out. We had nothing but positive statements and motions and actions the entire time we moved forward. So none of this time has been wasted. There are no true one heroes here. It's all of us collectively. We all have had our part. Haven't you, Spunky? Yeah. For those of you who, who don't know Christine, come on over here. She is just amazing. No, your part in this, of standing at that podium, and you, Pat McKinley, and, and you, Don Bankhead, and just letting them have it. And you know what? They win. United we can. Yeah. So, you know, I thank you for that. That was, that was incredible. Yeah. Go on YouTube and find her. It's amazing. That little thing? Oh, yeah, that little thing did that. Yes, she did. Yeah. So don't get in her way, folks. So a few, a few more things to cover. Um, you know, this is a, a, kind of a somber reason that we're here. But I also, again, want to thank all of you for everything that you've done to get us here. I have a civil case coming up. There's been motions. We've been in court. Not the defendants, because it's not a criminal trial, but uh, not the defense. So right now, the trial is due to start. Jury selection and trial start December 1st for my civil case. So we'll see how that goes. There's a lot of opposition. There are a lot of people. There's a, a good group of people who used to be Kelly's Army who are working with and for the city defense teams. So, oh, and another thing, we have a small group here tonight, honestly, and, and very familiar faces, but I just want to let you know, and you'll realize this, that the prominent people, AJ, Let's just say myself. Some of you who are really active are continuously monitored on social media by law enforcement. Don't think you're not. Yeah. Maybe you'll learn something. Yeah. Don't think that you're not. We were in court. We were in court just the other day for my civil case, and it was just motions. A couple people knew about it. I try. I 
don't care that this is public. It's not about me. The civil case is only about trying to get some form of justice. That's why I'm doing this and staying with it. But I don't really broadcast it out. Well, it is public information people find out. So a good group of people were there, including AJ. And three sheriff's sergeants and one deputy, who I know, and they're good people, walked in and just quietly sat down because they knew. They knew. So don't think for a minute when you say something on your page that they don't know because they're monitoring, okay? Yeah. My point of that is the entire time we've been getting together at protest, any type of rally, and even these types of events, there have been undercover police officers with us. Out of the almost, I don't know how many Facebook friends I have, 2,000 or 3,000, I don't know. A good portion of them are law enforcement trying to find out what's going on with me. How many of you folks are on LinkedIn? Professional side career? Well, law enforcement isn't always as bright as what they seem to be or think no, they are. No, no. <laughs> when mine showed me just the other day that a detective from the Fullerton Police Department was inquiring about my professional career. So I did what Ron Thomas does best. I called him. He wasn't in. I left a voicemail. You want to know something? You call me. Here's my number. <laughs> then I called Chief Dan Hughes. Why are you guys investigating me? Or on, we're not investigating y'all. Check the out. Whatever. I, uh, uh. <laughs> what I found out is I did receive a subpoena from the city attorneys because they want me to release Kelly's medical records to them. And only I can do that. His mother cannot in this case because it's my complaint. Elsewise, she'd be able to, but this is my complaint. They wanted the medical records. So he, the detective, contacted by the Fullerton City Attorneys to get my address to mail it to me. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what you know about the law, but any time a police officer or police entity locates somebody's address for use other than an official police investigation, they're breaking the law. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly what they did. Yeah. Trust me, we're all over this one. Yeah. We're all over this one, and Dan Hughes is backpedaling, and, and uh, the detectives, and everything else. And I did receive a call back from this detective, and he was very nice to me, very cordial, and apologetic. And so what? But it, you know, if they want to know anything about me, I call them. I get right in their face, just like any of us would. We need to continue doing that. Hold them accountable. One of the other things I want to talk about is in our success, a lot of us were that, that are here were in Sacramento. It was very powerful, powerful. Yeah, if you were here, just raise your hands. I mean, it was a very powerful time up there at the state capitol. But what I really, really am sad about is this bag of buttons. There's a lot of buttons here, and they're not all of them. They're just some buttons, every one of them is a murder by cop victim that I got while I was in Sacramento. We gotta stop this. And if you think I haven't already said something to our folks in Sacramento, because that's who controls the highway patrol about this incident two days ago, where this highway patrolman beat the crap out of this woman in the middle of the freeway, you're mistaken. I'm already on this one. We are not gonna stand for this kind of thing. Not gonna do it. We have to protect the citizens, and we've been doing a really good job here. Okay, so what do you do? How many people know besides Kathy over here and her mom, of course? Um, Kelly's grandma's over here. How many folks know approximately how old? I was, and maybe Kathy was when we had Kelly. Anybody? Well, you don't count either. That's our granddaughter. 
<laughs> you don't count because here's my first cousin, Dawn, raising her hand. She doesn't count either, okay? No, this, this gentleman here doesn't count either because I've known him since high school. Okay, look. 24, 18. Yeah, I, I was a really young guy. Yeah, 18, there you go. No, I wasn't. I was younger than that. Oh, my goodness. I was a dad at 17. I was in the Army. I went in the Army. I'd only been 17 for one month when I went in. In other words, the day I went in, I could, I could have said, you know, last month I was only 16. That's what I did for my son. We did some sacrifices. But there was our little bundle of joy. What do you do when you were just 16, you're now 17, you don't have a clue what's going on in the world, you're in the army, you can't even spell army. How do you name a kid? I was just joking with somebody a little bit ago, what do you say? I mean, at that age, you, you name them, shut up, be quiet. <laughs> Don't you ever quit pooping? I mean, you know, <laughs> like, what do you name a baby? So I didn't have a clue, and we went around and around about names, didn't know what to do, and I don't remember if they had baby name books back then or what was going on. But I'll try and get through this, kind of emotional. But um, anyway, so I... I saw some inspiration, not that kind, not that it's not good, but some other inspiration. And there was this kid I went to high school with, and actually he ran track with my brother and football and all this kind of stuff, and, and he was just a remarkable guy, just remarkable in every way. Um, <clears throat> class act. So I named Kelly after him. Ladies and gentlemen, Kelly Paysack. Um, I'm not much of a speaker. Um, I, I just found this well, you out. See the way he just took the mic. <laughs> I, I hate to see a friend cry. You know. <laughs> now, um, I just found this out last November. Yeah. Uh, that Ron had named Kelly after me. I, I was. Um, Needless to say, I was humbled. I, I, I was speechless. Uh, didn't know what to say. I don't know what to say still. But I, mean, I don't think anyone would have words if you found out that someone that you haven't seen for 42 years had named a child after you. Um, at the time that I found out, I was going through a terrible stage of my life. I'm probably going to cry here too. But, um, I've struggled with alcohol for the last 22 years. Uh, I went through an awful divorce. Uh, Ron, who my ex-wife, she was my high school sweetheart. Uh, we've been together with her since I was 14 years old. And uh, so I went through a little traumatic period. And my whole life, I wanted to make a difference in someone's life. So that's, that's, that's what I dedicated my life to, is making a difference. And, and part of my depression, um, my mental illness was that I had never made a difference in anyone's life. You know, and they know something. I did. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. and, and, and I did Ron's life. That's what I would do. You know, unfortunately, it was a tragedy. It was a, a, a horrific thing that happened to Kelly. Right. But because of that, it brought all of you together. And you were all doing something that, how, how great is it what you're doing? Look at all the people that you're helping, that you're going to help, and how many more are going to join you and are going to be helped. And, and all for Kelly. He's loved. He's loved. He's going to be loved. And, and what you're doing is going to show the love for everyone else who is brutalized by the police. Not only by
anybody in the United States, but around the world. This thing goes on worldwide. It's just not right. Orange County or California in the United States. This is worldwide. Yeah. And it, you guys are doing a great job. Ron's doing a great job. But you have to put a stop to it. Right. Keep it up. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, can you imagine that? He just popped back in my life all of a sudden. His wife's an attorney. She just got a hold of my attorney. He calls me up and says, you know a guy named Shelly? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and we put it together and we finally got to meet. It was wonderful. Yeah, and one of the other positives, like I say, we've all found positives in this. He plays golf too, like I do. It's just wonderful. <laughs> so it's, it's a great thing. Indeed. Um, as far as the feds go, they still won't talk to me. I do have in my possession, known as public records, so I can say this, an email from the United States uh, Attorney General, the U.S. Attorney, and that um, they still won't talk to me, and they're not supposed to, about even if they're doing an investigation, but we all know that they are, and in fact, they are, and they deem it so. In a civil case, the civil judge has been asked by the defense to grant, and a lot of you know this, use immunity to Ramos, Cincinnati, and anybody that may testify um, you know, in, in front of my attorney. Use immunity, if you don't know, means anything they say in this deposition can be gathered, collected, and used by the feds to develop charges on them. For instance, if someone were to say, you know what, I'm just tired of him, he was homeless, so I decided to beat the crap out of him. The feds would be able to take a statement like that and develop charges. Now you have willful intent and all these other things. That's just an example that hasn't been said. Well, the civil judge is going to entertain that. In fact, he postponed it. He's going to re-entertain that in a motion on the 24th. What the U.S. Attorney said was in this email, and it was addressed to the court, the defense, my attorneys, you know, everybody. And I'm paraphrasing here. I really don't care what you do in the civil court. I have jurisdiction. And I will not grant them immunity. made it very clear. No matter what happens in the civil court, he just doesn't care. He will do anything based off of what they say to file charges on. Grant immunity, grant immunity, granted by the civil judge or not. It doesn't matter. That he doesn't have the jurisdiction to do it. So, the feds find something, they'll go after him. That's a beautiful But in the end term, um, they officially tell me they can't comment if there's even an investigation going on. If they did, and we talked about it a little bit, and there were charges filed, and let's just say that the uh, guys involved, I'm trying to be nice here, uh, had charges filed on them and they were found guilty, well then it's going to, the defense would go for a mistrial. And they could get granted a mistrial, and that would be it. That would, there would be no more recourse with a mistrial. All because if the feds talk to me, or to anybody for that matter. So when I call up, and I've met with the U.S. US Attorney many times, I have his cell phone number. He said, Ron, you ever need anything, call me. Well, that was all prior to the verdict. And then they picked it up. Well, I call up his office now, the secretary answers, he's never in. She will not confirm that there's even an investigation, and I appreciate that very much. They will not talk to me, they do not talk to me, and they're not supposed to. But the investigation, they put it out publicly that they're on, so there we go. Um, other than that, I've told some of the media tonight, the news people, that um, what I really want to see, what we really need to see, all of us need to see around the world, 
is for at least one juror to come up and explain why they voted the way they did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. That's the big yeah. question. I told the Orange County Register, I called up and said, look, I want an article run. All right, Ron, what do you want? I didn't think they were even talking to me anymore, but that was pretty when they said that. I said, I want something put out there where the jurors going to respond. I want them to know that I need them to explain it, and they can do it in private. They can do it with their attorneys. They can do whatever they want. I just need to know why they came up with that. He says, Ron, we all want to know that. Every journalist around this world wants to know that. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. Because as soon as we find out where one of them is, we're all over them. Trust me. <laughs> so, and I believe that. I mean, that is a new story. Because not to even get excessive force is garbage. Right. Just garbage. Then they dismissed all of And for those of you who don't know, um, and I'll reiterate, how powerful Kelly's army really is, and this is true. I had a uh, message sent to me by somebody I do know. I've known for a long time. It's out, it's out, but some of you may not know it. That Cincinnati is in a probationary period as a mail carrier for the city of Huntington Beach, California. He has his own route. And the nice thing about that is Kelly's army members have already put things in the mailboxes all along our route. Do you know who your letter carrier is? Well, he's the one who murdered Kelly Thompson. Said I had no, no choice but to be out of his face. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Go ahead. Go ahead, pull Kelly's army. Okay. Ramos is doing home remodels with some of his brothers. And I don't know that they're biological, but um, in your Belinda, he's doing remodels there. Yeah, from police officer thug to doing remodels in construction. Yeah. Uh, Wolf, I want to know where he is, people. I don't know. I want to know where he is and what he's doing. He is always slid under the radar. I want to keep him up on top. I don't. I want to know what rock it is. We need to expose him. He is not going to get away with this crime. Neither are the others. I will not rest until there is justice. We need to know where Wolf is. Okay, I guess that's about it. Did you want to say anything, Kathy? No. Just for the record, she's shaking her head no. But um, I can't thank you enough for being out here. And back when we were doing all the heavy protesting, and those are some good days, i got to tell you, people. Those are some powerful, powerful days. I said when this is all over, that I want to throw a great big party for us, and I'm still going to do it. And we're going to take over that baseball field directly across the street from the police station. They don't know it yet, but we're actually going to get the permission. And we're going to take over that entire sports complex over there, and we're going to have a catered one hell of a party, win, lose, or draw. We're still going to do it because we deserve it. You deserve it. And Kelly deserves that. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Ed. Okay, how many of you remember the Anaheim riot? Huh? Yeah, they blame me for that too. I accept. What the hell? On the 19th, coming up real quick here, is a protest march uh, in remembrance of that day for all the people who are just unjustly killed in Anaheim. The 19th. All right. Stoddard Park. Stoddard Park. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Ron. Sorry, buddy. We're still in it, though. We still got it. I still got your back.
Sasa, 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 Sasa,